Chapter 1, Section 6 is about multiplying and dividing real numbers. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide rational numbers. Okay, first vocab words. Um, not vocab. We're just multiplying real numbers. These are the concepts. So if we are multiplying, the product of two real numbers with different signs is always negative. So if you multiply a positive with a negative, you're going to get a negative answer. If you multiply two real numbers with the same sign, no matter what that sign is, you're always going to get a positive. So positive times positive equals positive, and negative times negative equals positive. So same signs, positive, different signs, negative. Okay. Examples, what is each product? Here I'm multiplying two different signs, a negative times a positive. That means I'm gonna have a negative answer. 12 times eight, 96, so my answer is going to be negative 96. Okay, second one, 24 times 0 0.05. They are both positive, so my answer is going to be positive. And 24 times a half is 12. Okay. Third, here we have a negative times a positive, which means my answer is going to be negative. And when I multiply fractions, I just go straight across. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8, so a negative 3 eighths. Okay, please try not to use a calculator when you do these. See what you can figure out. What is the product of a positive 6 times a negative 15? Different signs gives me a negative answer. 6 times 15 gives me 90. Letter B. Positive 12 times a positive two tenths gives us a positive 2.4. Letter C, we have a negative times a positive, so different signs gives me a negative answer. And if I multiply straight across, seven times three is 21, 10 times five is 50. Letter D, because this is in parentheses, this means negative four times negative four Negative times negative gives us positive, and 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, a football team has three 15-yard penalties. What real number describes the change in yardage from these penalties? Okay, well, I have three of these 15-yard penalties. If it's a penalty, that's a negative number. So fi negative 15 times 3. I have different signs, so my answer is going to be a negative number, and 15 times 3 is 45. Okay. When we take square roots, we actually get two answers, positive and a negative, because for the simple fact that I would be multiplying two numbers with the same sign. The square root of 16, for example, we would normally say 4 because positive 4 times positive 4 gives us 16. But negative 4 times negative 4 also gives us 16. So we could say that our answer is positive and negative 4. Okay, that's what they're looking for. The only time that it won't, that a negative would not be possible with a square root is if it was underneath the radical sign, which none of these are. So we're gonna go through and see if we can figure these out. We need the negative square root of 25, okay? They say it's going to be negative, that's what having that on the outside means, and the square root of 25 is five, so our final answer would just be negative five in this case. This little symbol, if you saw it spread apart, is really a plus and a minus. So that's saying that we need both the positive and the negative Okay, and when I take the square root of a fraction, I take the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. So positive and negative two-sevenths 
is my answer for that one. The square root of 196, they didn't indicate what we're looking for, so we could just say 14, or you're also welcome to say the positive and negative 14. Okay, this would be a good place to pause and try it on your own and then come back and see what answers I have. If they have the positive negative symbol in front, you have to also have that in the answer. If you are in regular algebra, this is where you would stop for day one, and then you can come back